Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back, okay? If you're not here for the first time and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what you waiting for? All right, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. I don't think I'm going to use any tarot for this. I said I was going to do a love reading. I'm going to do a quick love reading because, but I'm not going to use tarot. I don't think. Because y'all, I keep picking up on the same situation. And I know every time I pick up on it, it gets a little deeper. But it's like, bruh, come on, man. But I'm not in charge of the messages that comes out. I am just the messenger. So I digress. I'm going to put whatever spirit gives me out there, okay? But let's switch it up a little bit and do something a little different. All right, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or whatever you have Libra placements in your chart, there may be a reading here, a message here for you. Um, intuition, trust your intuition. I feel like you are Libra. I feel like your intuition is very much on point. Okay, if you're here because you're cross watching, dealing with the Libra, there may be a message here for you too. All right. Please remember that these are general. All of these messages are not going to resonate for each and every Libra. So only take what is for you and leave what is not. If this is not your story or you're not resonating with the reading, there are other readings on my channel that you may resonate with. Or maybe the messages are not for you at this time. Okay. Oh, feel free to switch the energies. <sighs> third party. There's a third party popping pills, doing the most, drinking, drugging. I'm seeing somebody turning up at parties, shaking their butt, child. Like, somebody is going through something, and they don't know how to deal with it. So, they just going out partying, drinking, turning up, doing the most right now. I heard newly single. So, this could be somebody who's newly single. Yeah, I'm hearing single. What is I'm single again, back on the prowl. And then I'm hearing back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Done dealing with you, so I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Somebody back up on their bullshit, Libra. I don't know if this is you, somebody, somebody around you, or in your energy. If you're dealing with a person, it could be the ex of that person, or it could be your ex. <laughs> I don't know, okay? But somebody said they back up on the bullshit, okay? Catch me in these streets. All right, what's going on with Libra? <laughs> if you guys are interested in a personal reading from me, information uh, is below. Oh, I'm doing. I forgot to say in the in the last read. First of all, Irene, happy birthday! And I was supposed to give you a shout out. Um, and I'm hearing Devin, the name Devin, or something with a D here. Yeah, somebody definitely popping pills. Third party. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be a single mother. Somebody wants your forgiveness here. Tell me what's going on with Libra. What messages do we have for Libra? What does Libra need to know? Um, I am $30 same day reads, guys. $30 same day reads. I am doing those today. I'm going to let the chips fall where they may right now. Um, I'm doing those today. $30 for your general reading, okay? Um... Cash app information is down below. If you pay after 6 o'clock, then you will receive your reading tomorrow, okay? I'm trying to get the readings done within an hour or two of payment, so, but guys, just bear with me. But yeah, $30, same day, general reads, whatever comes out. If you're interested, make the payment. Put your email in the for um, part of the payment, okay? All right. And like I said, y'all will y'all will receive them today. But if you pay after 6 p.m., you will receive them tomorrow. Okay. All right. So you got happy here. So you um landed over here on top of Capricorn and Aquarius. So you may be dealing with an, a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Okay. You may be dealing with the Cusper. Okay. Capricorn Aquarius Cus. You can have these highly aspect in your chart. Somebody's happy. Why is he looking at her like that? Somebody's happy. Somebody wants to be closer to you. It says, I want to be closer to six feet. You have decisions out here and you have a nosy neighbor out here. Okay. My bad. Did that blind somebody? I'm sorry. 
Libra, and this fell on you on top of you, Libra. Nosy neighbor. So Libra, there's some nosy neighbors around you that is they're talking about you. They said, Girl, I told you he or she was ratchet. So somebody is talking about you. You got neighbors that are saying that you ratchet, that you this and that you that. Okay. And I'm hearing, um, <laughs> so my name is Sierra. I'm hearing, and they say she do a little that she do a little that she, uh, 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 I heard she talking that to uh, 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 so what, uh, so what. Uh. Yeah, Libra, like, Libra, you don't give a fuck. Like, you don't even care. You don't even talk to these people, whoever these neighbors are. So, you don't give a fuck what they say about you. And you like, y'all don't even know me. So, how you going to be talking about me? That's cute, though. I'm glad I got your attention like that, Libra. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you like, I'm glad I got your attention. Whew, all right. So, somebody has a decision to make. You can have a decision to make when it comes to a Leo or a Leo is trying to make a decision about you, okay? But somebody definitely wants to be closer to you. Could be a lot of people with that being right in the middle. But somebody makes you happy or you make a Capricorn or an Aquarius happy. Somebody could be from Alabama. Somebody's uh, first, last, middle initial could be B-A or M. Somebody think you goofy as heck. Somebody think you goofy as heck. Alright, let's see. What else? For Libra. I'm going to clarify these. I do not want to use tarot. I, I might. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Two more shuffles. All right, you have protection. So you could be, I'm getting, you're praying for somebody. You may be praying for somebody's protection here. Oh, I'm hearing the ultimate form of love or the highest form of love or something. It's like praying when you pray for somebody. So there could be somebody that you're praying for. And that's like the highest form of love to them. Or you may, this person may not even know, but, um, or you may not even know that there's somebody praying for you that, you know, somebody loves you enough to pray for you or somebody may be shocked to find out that you care about enough about them to pray for them. Okay. Anything else from this deck? Yeah. You got that intuition card coming back out. Some of you are Virgo Libra cuspers. Okay. You have family coming out. All right. I keep hearing job descriptions. Somebody may be applying for jobs or something like that. You got family coming out in the reverse over here. So somebody is not in a happy family. And that landed over here with the, with that Capricorn Aquarius energy. So somebody could, I don't know, somebody's family isn't happy or somebody's happy that, oh, excuse me. Hmm. Okay, somebody could be happy that, I don't want to say like happy that the family is ending or over or something like that, but it's like, I don't know, because I was going to say that before I, um, I was going to say that the way he's looking, because remember I said, why is he looking at her like that? But I'm like, is he it, like she getting on his nerves or like somebody looking at her like she's doing the most or something like that here? I don't know. I'm gonna have to clarify that, chat. Yeah. All right, but you have um intuition keeping. I'm keeping one eye open. So yeah, you. First of all, this is about these about these neighbors. You already know what's going on with them. You already know that they nosy. You already know they probably gossiping about you or talking about you again. So what? Okay. Um. Also, though, I feel like you are kind of keeping your third eye, close eye on these neighbors as well, because I feel like you don't trust these people as well. So even though you're not really caring what they're saying about you or if they're talking about you, it's like, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I see you. Okay. All right. Somebody's going through somebody's phone or has gone through somebody's phone. Yep. There's a toxic relationship. Somebody went through somebody's phone, found something that they didn't like or something. I've been saying that. Some of you might get communication from somebody's ex. You could be a single mom. Somebody may get communication from somebody's ex. 
whether this is you getting communication from somebody's ex or your ex communicating with, you know, somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody's name could be Sasha. Um, hmm. Or somebody's finding out that uh, their ex is talking to someone else. Somebody drinking a lot. Something is a tox is toxic, though. I mean, if you're going through somebody's phone, it's toxic anyways, right? Mm. I said, did I, was it in this read where I said somebody was pregnant? I think that was in the last reading. You got, we're pregnant out here. Pay attention. Somebody's being defensive about something. What is this? Forgiveness. Long distance and swingers, Lord. Somebody don't know who the baby daddy is or who the child's father is, honey. Oh, somebody need to distance themselves from somebody that cannot be trusted. I feel like somebody's coming to you for forgiveness because they have distanced themselves from somebody that they just cannot trust. This person could be saying that they're pregnant, but I feel like whoever this person is is saying that they're pregnant, they don't know who the child's father is. Somebody could have two, pe two people pregnant at the same time as well. Okay. So, yeah. And I did see that polygamy card. So, somebody could have two people pregnant at the same time. But I, or, okay. Let me tell you, I'm getting a lot of scenarios. Either somebody has two people pregnant at the same time and... Okay, that's one scenario. Okay. And, and, and they're both that person's kids. Either... One, either somebody gets somebody pregnant and then somebody that they else that they've dealt with or an ex or something like that, a recent ex could be like, oh, I'm pregnant too, but they're lying. Or either if they're not lying, they could be pregnant, but it could not be that person's. Okay. And they're just saying that to kind of get up under this person's skin or something like that. Okay. <sighs> oh boy. All right. <laughs> The cannon, the cannon. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm oh, sorry, y'all. Oh boy, am I using? Oh, yeah, I'm not using this deck. Um, let's use the tea leaves. Fuck it, let's use the tea leaves. Let's do this for Libra, for Libra, for Libra. I fixed my candle too, y'all. For those of you who watched the last reading, there was something, the wick was falling out of it and it wasn't catching. So I had to like pull the wick out and then stick it back in there. All right, somebody new entering your life in August. Some of you could have met somebody new in August here with the chair field. All right. Or this could be next August. I don't know. I'll be doing lives, um, doing a live later too, guys. Probably around like 12, maybe. I'll let you guys know. And I know, I, I, I don't know if you guys knew I was supposed to do a live the other day. I think it was Saturday, but I didn't do it because um, my son got sick. He wasn't feeling well that night. So that's why I didn't do the live um, that night. But anyways, um... Grasshopper, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Yeah, I'm here. I keep hearing that song. Be careful with me. You don't know what you're doing. Whose feelings that you hurt and I'm bruising. Be careful with me. My heart is like a package with a fragile label on it. Yeah. This could have been somebody that you were dealing with for a long time because she says, I was here before all of this, but you acting out now, you got an audience. Mm. Yeah, it's something about somebody trying to act out in front of people. I think I said that in a reading before. Like, ugh, okay. Something about that. But situation in the balance require careful handling. You Be careful how you handle a delicate situation here because people get stupid. And I'm not saying that you got to 
that you got to fold or you got to be at like you scared of somebody or something like that. It's just, you know, Libra, you know, you smart and you use your wits and you know how to walk away from a situation. You know how to choose your battles and things like that. And somebody don't know how to do that or don't care to do that could be a Sagittarius here. OK, or a Scorpio that may try to kind of get up under your skin or do, you know, do the most. So just, you know, you, you know how, what to do, Libra. You know what to do. Because I feel like you know how to pick your battles and you know how to walk away from situations. If something needs to be addressed, you'll address it. If something, if you just feel like it's pointless, then, you know, handle it accordingly. But people get stupid is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You may get into an argument with somebody and then the bitch want to pull a gun out or some shit like that. And I'm not saying that I'm seeing that. But I'm just saying people do shit like that. And when I say a bitch, I mean a male or a female, whoever, right? People, they can't just hold up with their words. They got to go to weaponry because you mad. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm, that's why I'm saying handle the situation carefully, right? All right. You have um, great personal sorrow. Yeah, it's like something was happy. Somebody was happy, but now they're not in this family dynamic, Okay. And then you have, you'll be giving, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So this could be a birthday gift. It says diamonds. Somebody may be gifting you diamonds or jewelry. Um, I don't want to say engagement, but shit, you know, that's where your mind goes. But um, yeah, it could be just something very sentimental and precious to you. It could be a damn picture in a frame that, but you love it because it means something to you. Okay. You have dissatisfaction with life. Yeah. Somebody, something is ending and somebody's not happy about it. Could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Somebody's not happy with the way their life is going or, you know, the way that things have ended up. Good luck is here. Hopping on top of the Libra. You could be, um, you can have Scorpio placements in your chart. Okay, you have too much concern with sexual matters, new ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. All right, I'm laughing because I I just got when it said too much concern with sexual matters and the new all this new energy. I'm getting somebody wanting to try a lot of new positions with you. Okay, could be dealing with a Leo or a Capricorn. Um, but I'm getting somebody wanting to try a lot of new positions with you. But somebody and and I said this yesterday. Somebody is not gonna be able to stay off of you. You guys not gonna be able to stay off of each other. So if you're not trying to get pregnant, like if you know you can get pregnant and it can happen for you, and but you're not ready, or you you know what I'm saying, you may want to be careful. Cause whoever this person is that you're dealing with or are gonna be dealing with. They are not going to be with the not today. Ooh, baby, not tonight. They ain't going to be with that. <laughs> they going to be like, I want you right now on the kitchen table. I could do this for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> I could do this for hours. <laughs> okay, listen. All right, victory and something ever. You guys are getting a win. That fell on top of I want to be closer to six feet. So, yeah, now I'm hearing, can we get a little closer, baby? I want to get to know you, lady. With me and you, it's like night and day. Lick it from the front, hit it from the back. <laughs> oh, my gosh, y'all. Libra, what y'all got going on? All right, it says you're on the right, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. <laughs> you have October out here and you have reconciliation out here. Now it was in I don't really acknowledge these cards because they're round in the reverse, but this was in the reverse um when I picked it up. So some of you could not be reconciling with somebody in October. Somebody wants to, and this could be a friend, a lover, a family member, anybody. Okay. Some of you are not wanting to reconcile with somebody in October or you could be not wanting to reconcile with another Libra or a Scorpio okay um but for some of you I feel like it's either way because you know like I said it's a circle it can go it goes around so some of you will be reconciling some of you won't be all right the choice is yours all right, there is a sneaky person in your energy. You have the fox here shrewdness and resourcefulness especially in business and someone working against you or behind your back eh. Okay, I don't. <laughs> Ooh, 
Y'all named the baby after me. Okay, you have opportunities waiting for you. So there could be new opportunities coming in. Could be something to do with a Leo or, excuse me, or a Cancer or something about Cancer or Leo season. Something could be coming to fruition that started to pop off um, around that time. You got to beware of great pride. Some of y'all, yeah, that's giving me Leo too. Somebody got a lot of pride full of ego or something like that, okay? Mm, to be you... Or somebody that you're dealing with or the way somebody views you but beware of great pride somebody got a lot of somebody is very convinced that they can have you when they want you i don't know why that came out so clearly but yeah all right and it says deep friendship of someone with the same sex some of you your best friend could be a leo if they are of the same sex as you all right, you have a sincere wish will be granted. So something that you've been wanting for, praying for, manifesting is um, coming into fruition here. And it could have something to do with Cancer or Leo season. Um, something that you manifested then. Okay, it says butterfly change for the better. Yeah, this is going to be a happy change. You're going to need to defend yourself. I'm telling you, be careful and do not take risk. And you have broken ring, parting of the ways in romance or business. And then you got spiritual love. So, yeah, remember I was saying about, you know, be careful of crazy people, people that want to do the most and shit like that. I feel like if you're dealing with somebody, they just got a crazy toxic ex that's bitter. And yeah, June, something about June could be significant. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. All right, Calibra, what's going on? Not coming out beside Diamond, child. Not marriage coming out beside Diamond. Somebody's name could be Diamond. Didn't I sell y'all? I didn't want to say marriage or engagement, but, uh, you know. <laughs> and then you have hard work ahead. Ooh, something about June. I'm getting engagement in June for some of you. For somebody. Could be one, just one person, maybe even in March or something about March could be significant. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus. Or is it Aries? One of them signs, child. You have May out here. Yeah. So, you, uh, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, uh, Gemini. I think that's right i don't know um yeah karma oh you got good karma coming and you're gonna be disappointed in a friend or a lover you may get into it with this um with this deep friendship this person this best friend or something you may get into it with this person or this or somebody like in your family or a lover could be an ex mm -hmm. all right Top three cards. Yeah. Defend yourself. Parting of the ways. Don't take risks. All right. Same thing, same thing. And there's an exciting event that's going to happen. I split it. I split the deck on exciting event twice. All right. Um, what are we doing for final messages? Oh, my gosh. I don't want to pull tarot. I'm not getting many, y'all. I'm, I'm going to go through the deck one time. One time. And whatever comes out is what comes out. All right. Let's wrap this reading up. How do you want to wrap this reading up? What are the final messages for Libra? Hmm. Here, got somebody in a chokehold, child. What? Nah, this could be literal. Somebody may be watching wrestling. Or this could be somebody just got a hold on somebody. All right, final messages for Libra. Final messages for this reading. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Trapped. 
feeling stuck or trapped, a chokehold. Somebody feels stuck or trapped, probably maybe in a marriage, or they did. Or somebody, or this is like somebody that, you know, can't get out of their head, that's really in their head. Could be about you, Libra, with the Justice card coming out here, right on top of Libra. Some, some of you definitely are cuspers. Libra, Virgo, cusp. You got the Justice card and the Emperor. Y'all getting y'all person, divine counterpart. I don't care if you're male or female here, okay? Um, this could be, this emperor is, represents a divine masculine energy or divine counterpart. Your justice is your person, is getting this divine counterpart. Ace of Wands in the reverse. There's no rekindling something or no renewing something here, okay? And I don't feel like this is for you. This is that energy of that, that unhappy situation that unhappy family so whoever you're dealing with or whoever's coming towards you i feel like there's no passion there in that situation there's no chemistry there anymore there's nothing this person sees you as their justice so yeah nine of cups on the top six of swords with the three of wands yeah nine of cups is for uh, nine of cups is emotional Fulfillment, wish fulfillment here. Six of Swords is somebody that's moving on to calmer waters here. Somebody that's moving forward here and not looking back. See, Three of Wands is manifesting, waiting on your ships to come in. Wait, look, this is you. Just say this is you on the dang boat and this person is sitting there waiting on you or this is the boat and you waiting on this person or whatever. This is like somebody waiting to see what's next. All right. So, and this person could feel like you're the next. King of Wands. All right. So, yeah. I'm going to leave this here. I hope this helps somebody out. I'll see y'all in the next reading. All right. Bye.